Hi everyone, so on this how-to uh, video we're going to show you how to bleed your brakes um, or your ABS system if you haven't happened to get air in them or you just need to get the fluid out um, for changing it and stuff like that you can use you know, the traditional method um, on using a one person bleeder or something and that will get the fluid out but if you get air in it um, this is the best way of getting air out of the ABS unit and the solenoid. So what you need to do is using TechStream you come open up to the screen which is the main one and then you want to go ABS VSC track um, and then you open it up, so I've already opened this up uh, and then you'll click on this button down here called Utility and then it will bring up all of the um, system of your ABS. So then you can go to Air Bleeding click on that Keeping in mind that this is text streams quite slow, especially on this computer. Um, so hopefully it will come up soon. Alright, so it's uh, now opened up. Now you do need to make sure you've got brake fluid. I'm just using um, the Penrite, you can get the factory stuff, Penrite. Um, Brake fluid does dot four and dot three, um, so just make sure. At the moment, I've got it above max, but should keep the lid on as well. And once you've done that, you go yes. Next, pick a line. Now, now I'm just going to start with what it says. So, front right, click on it, and then hit next. Yeah, automatically stop up to four seconds. Sweet. Next. So before the operating, following operations. So press and hold brake, then push next and wait for timer. Got the foot in the brake. The timer didn't go down, so that's going to happen here. You might say no. All right, camera with a fail. So let's go try again. Next, you have to pick the line again. Next, yep. Press and hold brake pedal. And that seems better. Release the brake pedal, push next. Must be just testing for pressure and seeing if there's any air in the line and stuff like that for it. So I have done this already. So what I'll do is go to the the rear, and that gets a bit more involved. So what happens in the rear? So that's all is complete. Sweet. So we go in the front. The two front ones are the same. Let's go to the rear. Go next. Yep. So the following. Open up the bleeder bleeder plug. And then push next. So, what I've got, I've got a little one man setup which is a hose and a nipple into a jar and it's inside of it. Um, so, I'm gonna crack that open. Come back, and what this does is it actually operates it. So, I'll push. Yeah, I can hear the ABS unit kicking in. And it pushes fluid out. And then we need to close the breeder, bleeder. and then push next and then it does a test so this should and so that pumps the fluid out and all the air and out through the system opposed to use pumping it I found that it, I had air in my system so that one is now done and the rear left is the same you need to um open up the bleeder um, for that one as well so I'll do that in a minute you don't know, have to watch that but so I had air in the system um, long story but I got air in it and so and I've done it the old way where you put your foot in the brake and you release it and it comes through but it just was not getting rid of that air trapped in the 
and it must be in the ABS unit or the solenoid. So since doing this, it has um, brought the pedal back to original. So when you jump in the car after leaving it for a while, you feel the pedal come back up once you first start it. It wasn't doing that, so I knew there was something wrong, and I had a code saying low pressure. So since doing this, this got rid of all the air, and it's been working. So you can use that to um, to bleed the brakes in the future if you ever need to. So hope you've enjoyed it. Um, uh, if you've got any questions, give me a cheers, bye.